assalamu alaikum dear students today we are uh, going to discuss chapter 12 circular uh, motion in a circle and this is of course the chapter of your a2 physics and this is the uh, lecture 4 of this uh, discussion or this topic here uh, you can see few examples uh, actually the centripetal force and centripetal acceleration we have discussed in the last discussion and here you can see uh, a few examples like uh, uh, spinning a ball here on a string or turning a car and the centripetal force when you are uh, you can say uh, in an uh, amusement park and here you have the example of the centripetal force between the earth and the sun so here you know that the gravitational force is basically the centripetal force here uh, we have discussed this point that the friction of the road uh, between you can say your tires will give you the centripetal force and here you can see and see that the tension here is giving you the centripetal force so these are few examples here of course uh, again we have a situation inshallah we will discuss this this example in detail Uh, and uh, these three examples we have already discussed and in the theory of these examples we have discussed now uh, i am going to uh, discuss one very important question and this question is that why a motorcyclist has to lean inwards when going round a curved track and if you are on a motorcycle and you are taking a turn then you have to lean yourself inwards when it toward the center of the circle so this is very important question in figure 1 in this figure you can see that here we have the weight which is acting downwards and here we have the normal reaction which will give you the weight and yani this will be equal to the weight and this point g is the center of gravity of the motorcycle and the motorcyclist you can see that if uh, uh, the motorcyclist is taking a turn here then the frictional force in between the tire and tire and the road is giving you the centripetal force so this is very important what will happen actually if uh, you will not lean yourself inwards here you can say and see and you can actually recall one uh, a term which we have discussed before moment what is moment this is force multiplied by perpendicular distance between the force and the you can say a pivot so this center of gravity will act as a pivot in this case and if there is no other force yani your normal reaction is balancing the weight or weight is equal to the normal reaction then what will happen this force is giving you the clockwise rotation and if you are not leaning this is the only force and because of this force the moment you are uh, you can say uh, suffering from uh, it will be clockwise and you will fall you cannot take turn easily or you cannot even take turn but what we should do and when we are leaning inwards what is actually happening so this is very important here again we can see this diagram in this diagram in the picture 1 or diagram 1 as i said the normal reaction and weight are in line and they are balancing the effect of each other so the r and weight they are balancing the effect of each other and this is the force which is the frictional force and between the tires and the road and this will give you a turning effect clockwise moment will uh, you can say act upon the motorcyclist and as you know that the turning will be clockwise so you you will fall or the motorcyclist will fall away from the center of the circle yani somewhere here you have this the uh, center of the circle in which the motorcyclist uh, is trying to take a turn and something like this you can you can imagine is uh, here and the uh, motorcycle is taking a turn in this direction so here this is the direction of your 
you can say centripetal force and uh, here the, uh, the centripetal force is uh, acting of course towards the center but this centripetal force is giving you a turn or creating a moment and you will fall in this direction. So how you can control this you can say effect. In this diagram in this picture you can see that what is happening the motorcyclist is taking a turn when leaning itself inwards. So what is happening when you will lean yourself? So again the same thing we have to consider the moment and moment is nothing but the force into force into the perpendicular distance. So moment we have and this moment we have to consider the situation is that moment is equal to force into L. So what we have the perpendicular distance but initially in the previous diagram the only force and perpendicular distance was taking the body away from the center but when you will take a turn and you are leaning then what is happening this force is present and here now the situation is that the height h is basically the perpendicular distance in this case for force f which will try to take the body or turn the body clockwise but when you have leaned yourself your reaction normal reaction is not balanced by or equal to the weight but what will happen here you simply can say that the normal reaction will have a perpendicular distance from your pivot so where is this distance this is the distance a so simply you can say now we have the turning effect anti-clockwise as well then this r will give us the turning effect other way round or anti-clockwise and when this anti-clockwise uh, you can say torque or moment will balance the clockwise moment which was due to the frictional force then you can easily take a turn yani you will not fall here we have a sort of mathematics of this uh, whole discussion so simply you can say that when you have the situation of the uh, you can say leaning and uh, uh, the torque due to N or reaction R will be equal to the moment due to F. What will happen? F into H. This F into H as we have just discussed that this is your force and this is the perpendicular distance over here. So force multiplied by perpendicular distance and F into H is giving you one torque or moment and on the other hand the torque due to R or N as I just said that this is R into A but you know that R or N is nothing but equal to mg. So you know that we have just discussed that F is nothing but the centripetal force. So for this centripetal force you have this formula mb square over R. So mb square over R into H you can write on one side and on the other side you have mga. And you can see that m's are con uh, you can say cancel out from each side so v square over rg will be equal to a over h now the thing is that if you will make a little different uh, calculation and uh, here you can see that what is happening here you are making an angle theta which is the angle over here as well and if you will consider this side and this height h so what will be the situation a over h you know you have taken this h on the other side and of course v square divided by r g is any you know, g you have taken on the left side and h you have taken to the right side so a divided by h is equal to v square divided by r g this is the mathematics but as i said that you have made in theta vertical angle and when you will use tangent theta a over h because your a for this theta is this uh, you can say perpendicular side and of course the other situation is that h is the base so perpendicular over, over base is giving you tangent theta and this is nothing but equal to v square over rg so ultimately you have 
this equation which will explain the whole situation. Two things we have to understand. One is of course the theoretical part which I have explained here that when you will uh, uh, take a turn uh, uh, around the corner and uh, of course somewhere here you have uh, like suppose this is the circular path and here you have the center of the circle. The centripetal force is acting in this direction but when the centripetal force is acting in, the, in this direction the perpendicular distance if you will consider this is your G here you have F. So in the normal situation and if you are not leaning then this F into H is giving you this moment then clockwise moment which will uh, you can say uh, uh, act upon the body and the motorcyclist will fall away from the center. But just to balance this moment what you did you have taken a turn. So when you have taken a turn or you have lean yourself. So what is happening in this case simply you can say that you have generated R and this R now is giving you this uh, moment and this anti-clockwise moment is balancing the clockwise moment and you can take a turn easily or you can get, uh, you can say uh, easily take a turn around a corner. This is the final equation which we are getting. We uh, can conclude something like suppose here we have the conclusion as tangent theta is equal to V square over RG. What this equation is actually telling us? This is something which is very important. If the speed V is higher and radius r is smaller then the angle has to increase to bend the corner safely by the motorcyclist. Now what does this mean? This is very important. Here I am giving you one, one set simple uh, explanation, mathematical explanation. You can see that I have taken uh, you can say uh, an example. The first case you can say is that when the velocity of the motorcycle uh, cyclist is 60 kilometers per hour 60 kilometers per hour and of course the radius of the circle in which the motorcyclist is taking a turn is 0.03 kilometer then you can convert these units into 16.6 meter per second and 30 meter when you will use this information in your equation tangent theta is equal to tangent theta is equal to v square over rg then 16.6 and 30 the values are giving you the angle over here 43.1. It means that the motorcyclist has to lean inwards. This will be or this should be the vertical angle 43.1. Now on the other hand if you will increase the speed or if increase the velocity from 60 to 80 and you have decreased the radius and you are now taking a more sharper turn then the uh, radius suppose is 0.02 then suppose if you are taking a turn like this then here you have this uh, radius but if you are taking a more sharper turn and it's somewhere here you are this is the situation one this is the situation two so in situation two of course you can say and see that this is our radius. So this is radius R2 you can say and from this point to this point here we have R1. So what we did we have increased the speed from 60 to 80 and we have decreased the value of the radius from 30 to 20 and the conversions of 80 and 0.02 kilometer here we have the situation that this is uh, kilometers per hour. This is uh, the kilometer. Of course, we have converted the units and the values now are this one, these one. So when you will use the same, uh, you can say equation, uh, your uh, tangent theta is equal to V square over RG. This is the calculation, calculation and here you have the angle 68.3. Yani if you want to take a turn, with this speed any higher the speed and a smaller the value of radius then you have to lean yourself with uh, making a greater a vertical angle. So, uh, we have well, gone through the situation of a motorcyclist when uh, he is bending around the corner. 
and uh, uh, they have discussed that why it is important to lean uh, inwards when uh, he wants to take a turn. In that case, we have deal with a situation where the frictional force is present and the frictional force between the uh, tires and the, uh, the road uh, was present. But here we have a situation where uh, we can say that horizontal circular motion without frictional force, this situation is uh, a new one you can say. And what is the example, one very important example of this situation is of, uh, of uh, uh, an aeroplane when taking a turn. Here you have the situation when the aeroplane is just going straight without taking a turn, then this is, you can say, situation one. In this case, weight of the aeroplane, which is of course mg, is balanced by the up uplift and this is the L for the uplift. But when your aeroplane will take a turn around the corner, you can say, or will take a turn where centripetal uh, force, of course, will be on the aeroplane and we have to check that what is the centripetal force here. But the main point is that somewhere here at point O, the center of the circle is present. This is the curve path as I have uh, drawn with blue dashed lines. So this is what we have. So here uh, you can see that what will be the situation of the uh, forces of the uplift and weight. What is ha uh, happening here? The uplift is now somewhere here in this direction. And of course, when you will uh, draw these vectors, then you can say that the angle is somewhere here. So this angle is telling us that this arrow or this vector is the horizontal one, which is, uh, or you can say vertical one, but this is the Lx, yani your L cos theta. On the other hand, here you have the component of your uplift, which is Ly, or simply you can say the L sin theta. Here again, when you will concentrate on the diagram, you will see that the weight this time is balanced by the Lx, yani L cos theta. And if we are not considering the air friction and other forces, your Ly is the force which is towards the center of the circle. So simply we can say that Ly is nothing but the centripetal force in this case. So this is your centripetal force. Here you have the centripetal force and it, as we have already discussed that different forces will act as centripetal force. So in this case, the Ly, the component of the uplift is uh, towards the center of the circle and this Ly is acting uh, as a centripetal force. Now a little mathematics, here we are dealing with the situation, we have that the Lx is equal to W which is mg and Lx is nothing but L cos theta is equal to mg. So we can consider this as equation 1. But when we will consider the Ly thing then this is the centripetal force and you know that centripetal force is nothing but mv square over r. So Ly is L sin theta and of course this is equal to mv square over r. So this is your equation 2. Now if you will divide equation 2 by equation 1, you will get something like this. L sin theta divided by L cos theta is equal to mv square over r divided by mg. Simply you can say and see that these m's will be cancelled out and what we are getting here we have v square over r v square over r and this is our g so simply we can write this as tangent theta is equal to because sine theta divided by cos theta will be nothing but tangent theta so simply you can say that sine theta divided by cos theta is giving us tangent theta so tangent theta is equal to v square over r g so simply this is your equation and here you can say and see 
that we have discussed the case of motorcyclists the equation is same but in this case the situation is a little bit different and what is the different the difference in uh, between these two situation over there the frictional force was present but when we are considering the case of an aeroplane there is no frictional force but the ly of your lift and the ly component of your uh, lift is providing you the centripetal force and again you have the same equation here you can say and see that when we are dealing with the tangent theta is equal to v square over rg so what we have actually when you will increase the value of velocity if you want to increase the value of velocity yani i can write here that if uh, uh, we want to increase the speed or velocity speed of the aeroplane and the and the radius of the circle is the small that is making a, a sharp turn then we have to bend the aeroplane with a bigger angle and this is the same situation as we have discussed in case of the frictional force between the tires and the road of a bike but here we have a different situation of course we are in uh, the air and uh, when you will uh, try to speed up the aeroplane and you want to take a sharp turn then of course the angle we have to change uh, you can say a bigger ang angle you have to make otherwise of course you cannot make a sharp turn so this is what we have as far as the turning of an aeroplane is concerned here we have another situation where again the uh, frictional force as such is not required and here you have a situation when uh, the car is moving on a banked road yani what actually we want to say here that we have a situation that there is a car on a simple uh, road then what is the situation the weight and the reaction normal reaction are balancing the effect of each other so this is what we have but if the same car is moving on a banked road yani here we have something like this this is the banked road and we want to take a turn here you can say and see that this is the angle here yani bank road is making an angle theta then what will be the situation the situation is that we are dealing with a new you can say example new situation now in this case what is happening simply you can say that when we will consider the normal reaction so normal reaction is here and this normal reaction is making a particular angle here you have r this is the vertical angle you can say and this is theta so what you can say and see that again we have two components one is r x and the other one is your r y so r x is in the line of your weight w and of course if you are not considering the other forces the r y is the force which is towards the center of the circle in this case again we can write that r is equal to w 
But when the car is moving on a banked road, then what will happen? Only R x will be equal to W, and you know that W is nothing but the weight. So this will be equal to m g. We also know, as we have just discussed in the previous example, that when you are uh, dealing with R x, this is nothing but R cos theta, and weight is nothing but m g. So Simply, you have equation one as r cos theta is equal to m g. On the other hand, when you will consider the other part or other component, which is r y, you will say that the r y is the force which is providing the centripetal force, and r y is equal to m v square over r. But you know that r y is nothing but r sine theta, and of course, m v square over r is here. so when you are considering this situation again as we did in the previous example by dividing equation 2 by equation 1 we are getting the same formula tangent theta is equal to v square over rg here uh, we have to remember one point that uh, uh, the frictional force is not here suppose no frictional force is required in this case but here we have another point to remember and this is very important and the point important is that if you want to take a sharp turn yani you have this bank road suppose and you are <coughs> going to this path then what will happen you have this is your center yani uh, center of the circle so if you are going from this position then you have one radius say r1 but if you want to go from this side then what will happen the radius will increase and you can say that this is r2 so what actually is happening in this uh, case this is very important as far as the tangent theta is equal to v square over rg is concerned we have discussed in the previous two cases that this theta we can change but as far as the bank road is concerned after of course this angle will be fixed you cannot change this angle so then what you can do if you are going with a particular velocity of course you have to consider that what is the radius if you have a particular value of velocity then you can go only with a particular radius as i said because the angle theta and ultimately tangent theta will have a particular value so suppose this value is coming as i am just giving you one example suppose it is coming as a 10 and you are going with uh, say uh, a velocity of 10 i am just taking uh, numbers to get a easy calculation suppose the radius is 1 meter and the g i am just taking as 10 so what is the situation of course you can say that the calculation is saying that the value of the tangent theta is coming as 10 but if you want to increase the value of your say a velocity from 10 to another value you suppose you are going with the 20 so 20 square divided by 10 you have but then what will be the value of r so this is important as i said that you cannot change the value of theta in this case so tangent theta at one point is coming as 10 i am just taking an example again i am saying that here you have 400 divided by 10 and r so if you want to calculate r then what should be the value here so r is equal to 400 divided by what we have here Uh, 10 by 10. So, what you are getting? 4. R is 4. This time you can say and see that initially the R was 1. Initially the R was 1. I mean, suppose this radius is 1. But if you will increase the velocity from 10 to 20, then you have to increase your radius. to 4 yani you have to go more away from the center and you can say somewhere here you can you can move but if 
you will try to move with this 20 meter per second and somewhere here you are then the centripetal force will not be uh, sufficient and of course you will uh, you can say not take a turn so this is very important in this case the radius you have to increase and you have to move from the outermost corner of the road so this is something which is very important when you are taking a turn on a banked road so these are few examples we have then uh, uh, we will inshallah discuss in the next discussion we will go for the vertical circle i hope you have understood these uh, discussions and these examples if you have any difficulties in the previous discussion we have uh, the uh, you can say example of the uh, leaning motorcyclist here we have discussed these aeroplane and uh, your uh, you can say car moving on a bank road there are number of examples but only few of course we have uh, discussed here inshallah in the next uh, uh, discussion we will go for the vertical uh, uh, you can say circles motion in the vertical circles if you have any difficulties please uh, uh, write in comments and then inshallah i will try to give the answers if you are new on the uh, uh, on my channel then uh, subscribe and uh, like this channel and uh, uh, click the uh, you can say bell uh, icon as well and uh, uh, inshallah uh, if you will follow my channel then you will not feel any difficulty as far as the a2 physics is concerned till the next uh, uh, discussion allah hafiz take care